Not everything is attracted to magnets, but did you know that most materials actually repel magnets just a tiny bit? Like this piece of wood here, it actually repels a magnet. It's magnetic, but in a weird way. Let's look into that a bit. When we think of something being magnetic, we think of a metal like iron, but there's a different kind of magnetism called diamagnetism. It's super subtle and it happens in almost everything, wood, water, and even you. There's this really cool video by the Action Lab where he showcases this with some mice and a giant magnet. Now this is caused by the electrons in the atoms of the material. They're negatively charged and orbiting the nucleus. When you bring a magnet near the material, its magnetic field disturbs the paths of those moving electrons. This disturbance creates tiny currents called eddy currents, which in turn generate their own magnetic fields. And according to Lenz's law, eddy currents always oppose the change in the magnetic field that created them. And this is what we call diamagnetism. Now let's compare that to what happens in iron, which is ferromagnetic. Iron is full of these things called magnetic domains. They're huge groups of atoms where all the tiny magnetic fields are already lined up in each group. Now normally the domains point in different directions and cancel out, which is why iron isn't a magnet by itself. But when you bring a magnet close, they all start to flip and align with it, creating a very strong attraction. Now let's see diamagnetism in action. So I have here this piece of wood, it's just floating on some water. The water's there just to reduce the amount of friction uh, because otherwise the repelling force would not be enough to overcome the friction that uh, if the wood was just sitting on, on the bench. But you'll see here, if I bring the magnet close to it without touching it, look at that. So it actually starts to move the other way. And if I bring it over to this side, it stops it and starts moving back. Look at that. I'm not touching the wood at all with the magnet. I can make it spin up. Oh, the styrofoam hit the side of the, the pot thing here. So isn't that so cool? You wouldn't expect a piece of wood to be magnetic in some kind of way, but it actually is and it repels the magnet which is so cool and that is diamagnetism and most of the materials around probably even this dish the styrofoam the water it's all diamagnetic it all repels it quick side note there is another kind of magnetism called paramagnetism it happens in materials like oxygen and aluminium their atoms don't have magnetic domains like iron each molecule can be slightly magnetic but they don't form groups that act together when a magnetic field is applied each one reacts individually and only while the field is present. Perhaps I can make another video in the future about paramagnetism. And so next time you hold a magnet near something boring like wood or plastic, remember, it's not doing nothing. The atoms are fighting back just a little. That tiny repelling force is all around us. It's just usually too weak to notice, unless you know how to look for it. So that's it for the video today. I really hope you learned something new. And if you did like the video, then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this.